drink in a jar. Hold on. All right, Valiant here. Let's do this. Let's review. Uh, <laughs> anyways, what are we doing here? Oh, yeah. All right. This is where we're at, okay? We're, um, we're going to go through our work. Basically, I'm going to show you how to model maybe um, the front front of a house or something, okay? Uh, and here's what I just finished in class. Here's my, uh, based on um, what I was just looking at right now, as you can see, somewhere over here I have uh, my plan. I have some elevations, some simple elevations here uh, in perspective and so on. So what I'm going to do is expand on this. Okay, I did the, this plan. I have all these little elements that I have at abellion.com. You can see my grade 12 class, guys. I'm over here. Please don't forget. Okay, and then game map is right here. Uh, this one, and then um, what I'm going to be actually showing is all my 3D form lessons and all that kind of stuff down the road. All right, I'm out of here. Let's go into Maya. Uh, yeah, I just finished this. So basically, we went into block in mode and we made all these lovely little boxes. We're good to go. Now, how are we going to add uh, certain faces? All right, so what I'm su suggesting right now, Ken, there's many ways to do this, okay? I like making my, my own faces right off the bat. 0.5 right here. Let's bring it in. This cube is one by one. So I'm bringing it on the floor. Uh, what I like to do is, unlike most people out there, they love scaling their work. For me, I just right-click over here, face, click on a face, bring it in, or you can control um, all that information down here. But for now, let's just go with this. And I'm thinking, since this is for game texturing, right, I'm, I'm thinking of it as a Lego blocks. So let's just make the front of a house, okay, first floor of a house, basically. Okay, um, so right here, that cube just became a front wall. All right, so in object mode, this is looking good. I'll press F to frame it. Sweet. I'm going to add my uh, insert mesh tool. And again, in 2015, they moved things all over the place. So we just got to, uh, you know, tweak our learning thinking. Mesh tools, insert edge loop. And what I'm going to show you now, I'm going to go through the edge loop, and we're going to let Maya figure things out for us, okay? Start by uh, equal distance, multiple edge loops. So let's say I want uh, five cuts here. Okay, check this out. Click once. Maya does it for you. Command Z. So in this case, let's just do four. And see again, you'll see. I'm just going to click on an edge, and Maya does the work for me. So in terms of the vertical, I'm going to cut again. Maybe I'll do three for now. Boom. Come over here. Pick a vertical edge. And yeah, that's pretty cool. It's done for me, right? Uh, let me just go back to four, just proportionally. And I'll tell you where I'm going with this. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, this looks good. I'm liking it. Okay, three it is. <laughs> I like to control it myself. But this is one simple method, all right? All right, cool. W to get out. Always, always remember that, please. And uh, W to get out of that cut tool because it's very, very dangerous dangerous for you. Okay, so what I'm going to do maybe is I'm going to come to face. Uh, I better save as right now. Command Shift S quickly on my desktop. Way 12. Let's go uh, elevation. Oh, yeah, elevations. Study 2, whatever. Okay, cool. I've got this. And here I am in face mode. I'm going to click on one, hold shift, boom, these three faces. Okay, so here's my favorite tool, right? Extrude tool. Extrude tool, as I told you before, dark blue cube, then the soft blue cube, and don't let go. And bring it in. Okay, so this is looking good. So this may be something for my um, my door. Okay, so what I'm going to do, and now I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to take uh, actually this one and this one, and I'm going to make windows out of here. Same method, okay? Click. And again, dark blue, soft blue, don't let go. Nice. We got the framing. We're looking good. All right. Uh, let's go to object mode to get out. Notice now um, in my sketches, what did I do here? My recent elevation studies here. Uh, what I'm trying to do is trying to maybe, I'm trying to have walls, different parts, okay? So basically, you know, the door, even though there's a door here, um, I want big blocks and then smaller, and I want a step. Uh, above ground level just in case of flooding and crazy things like that okay so what I'll do right now is I'll come over here and look at this this is not my block okay so this is really my door these three faces all right so what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna zoom in here and I will go right click and go to face select this face and I'm just gonna delete it bye bye see ya okay I'm gonna right click edge here and W to move it down okay so I'm gonna come down here and now it's in line with uh, the ground so right now this, these three faces are, are uh, my door, potentially. Okay, so I'm going to do a uh, face mode. Click, uh, let's change the face. Click once, uh, hold shift, double click. The ring is selected, beautiful. And here's my framing, right? Uh, where's my extrude? Hold on, right here. And on the blue, 
extrude out a touch. Nice. This is looking good. I got ambient occlusion here, as you can see, and I'm in render viewport 2.0. It's looking sweet. So what I'll do right now is I'll select one, two, and three, and uh, I'm not going to get too detailed here, guys. Oh, are you selected? Let's try that again. Okay, let's go to face. Let me get out of this object mode here. I can uh, isolate everything, so I can just go one, two, and three. So what I'll do right now is uh, maybe extrude in a touch. Okay, so that's that. Whatever. There's no right or wrong, okay, guys? You don't have to follow the steps exactly. It's just an idea. And this one here, we'll do the same thing. Hold shift uh, on the second one. So again, click once, hold shift, and double click. Boom, the whole ring is selected. Extrude. You're comfortable with uh, thicknesses? You can go basically like this, 0.1. Or what am I type? Can I see in the dark here? No. Let's say 0.2 then. Okay, <laughs> way too much. So watch this. So I'll just change this to 0.1. Done, right? That's awesome. So let's say I was going to extrude here, right? Coming into extrude. Thickness. Okay, why didn't it remember? 0.1. And it does the same thickness, which is really cool. It, it, it should remember the last one, but you can type it in if you're that type of person. You're comfortable with AutoCAD and keying things in. All right, so enough of this. This is looking pretty good. What I want to do, since we are texturing the front, um, and our animation sequence is going to be in the courtyard of a town, right? So thinking about this right now, in terms of faces, I'm going to spin around right now, and I'm actually going to delete all these faces. So let's just go to a side view of some kind. Let's use that view up there. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just select all these faces and say bye-bye. And right-click, perspective view, come back. You will see now what I'm trying to get at is this. Okay, what I want to do, as I showed you in the previous uh, one of the tutorials here, I can go to object right now. Actually, here's what I'll do. Always, always, okay, duplicate things. Command D, W. Uh, notice that it's not centered, so we can go modify, center pivot. The other thing I told you guys to always, always remember, delete by type history. As soon as, oops, <laughs> where did I go? Edit, delete by type history. Friday afternoon, people. Um, all right, cool. So now this is good. And I have this one as one of my mesh, uh, my pieces. What I'm going to show you here is this, okay? And again, the same thing here. Edit, delete by type history, done. And then modify, center, pivot. This should be like second nature. Right click, face, and select these faces, yes. And I'm gonna to go to Mesh here, and Extract. Remember, Extra, Extra, read all about it. Where is it? Mesh, Extra, done. Okay, back to Object Mode, sweet. So this one, W, where's the center? Somewhere else, center, uh, where is it? Modify, center, pivot, awesome. Okay, so this becomes our piece. So in the future, guys, if you have a first level here, or somewhere over here you wanna add it in, just take this and resize it, okay? Um, which is kinda of cool. In my opinion, you can come over here and go into vertex mode, for example, go into the front view, face right clicking uh, on spacebar, front. Okay, I framed that baby. Stop framing. Why? I ask you, Maya. Okay, so what you can do here is just come in here, W, and just slide that over. And then this will be one pattern that you will repeat after we texture it, right? So that's kind of cool. Again, think of this, and I know I'm talking super, super fast, as Lego blocks, okay? That would be kind of cool for us. So this one here, I was showing the class earlier. Right click again, perspective, and boom, we're here. Um, we have edges on the side. So I can have uh, material on both sides of here, and I can expand here and have different material. But I've noticed is I'm missing the equivalent side of this one. It's not relatively symmetrical. Not that I like everything to be symmetrical. So check this out, edge one, two, holding shift, three, four. Now I'm gonna extrude, I'm gonna do it the wrong way right off the bat. I'm gonna guess. Oh yeah, check that out. No, good, right? So what you want to do when you're extruding, to be safe, center it. Check this little blue button out. Awesome. Now I'm going to come in here and bingo. So at this point, I have done this. I love it. Object, boom. Uh, where's my <laughs> modify center pivot on everything? Come on. There you are. Control D again. Uh, Command D, sorry. <laughs> I'm on a Mac. Okay, I'm going to bring this up. And I'm going to maybe uh, do a different, uh, check this out, well, I'll explain it. Mesh tools, insert edge loop, right? And pop an edge loop, ooh, yeah, that's kind of a good idea, W. Okay, and I'm gonna stay in my front view here. Again, space bar, right click, front view. And uh, I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna go into vertex mode, which I love, and here we go, W up, and 
you rascals over here and bring that up. Oops, come on, come on. We can do this. You get where I'm going, guys? Okay, so you can come over here. And we just arc this nicely. Nicely, I say. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And I can take all these top three and uh, minus shift this one. And just, okay, so this is looking pretty, pretty sweet. Look at the two different ones. We did this in less than five minutes, folks. I just made two elevation entrances in less than five minutes. Okay, I hope you like this, my people. You guys are laughing over there, Stephanie. You will forever be recorded. Okay, so here it is. All right, we've got a bunch of things in a short period of time. I hope you like this. I'll have it posted by late this afternoon, okay? Valiant out. See ya. How many minutes? 10.46. Sweet.